Wilfred Arthur Green, 1st Baron Green, the 30th of December 1883 to the 16th of April 1952, was a British lawyer and judge, noted for creating two crucial principles of administrative law: the Winsbury Doctrine and the Carltona Doctrine. Topic: Early life, education, and military service. Green was born in Beckenham, Kent, son of Arthur Wergelin Green, a solicitor, and his wife Catherine Agnes Fook. He was educated at Westminster School. He was one of the first Roman Catholic pupils to be admitted to the school. He graduated from Christ Church, Oxford in 1906 with a BA. He had the reputation of being a formidable scholar. He was admitted to Inner Temple in 1908 entitled to practice as a barrister at law. He graduated from Christ Church, Oxford in 1912 with an Oxbridge M.A. He gained the rank of captain in the service of the two over one of a stone battalion, Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry. He fought in the First World War between 1914 and 1918. He was decorated with the award of the M.C. in 1918. He was decorated with the award of Cavalier, Order of the Crown of Italy. He was decorated with the award of Croix de Guerre. He was invested with an OBE in 1919. 1. <laughs> Legal and judicial career Green was a Lord Justice of Appeal from 1935 to 1937. He served as Master of the Rolls between 1937 and 1949, and subsequently became a Law Lord. On 16 July 1941 he was raised to the peerage as Baron Green, of Homebury St. Mary in the county of Surrey. The title became extinct on his death in April 1952, aged 68. He married Nancy Wright in 1909. Green in his time was the acknowledged master of administrative law, indeed it is impossible to exaggerate his contribution to the development of this field of law. Despite some refinements, the Wensbury Doctrine of Reasonableness remains the benchmark by which courts review decisions of public bodies. Of even greater significance was his enunciation of the Carltona Doctrine in Carltona Limited. V. Commissioners of Public Works 1943 to all ER 560 that, "...the duties imposed upon ministers and the powers given to ministers are normally exercised under the authority of the minister by responsible officials of the department." It may fairly be said that the Carltona Doctrine is the legal underpinning for the operation of the civil service in the United Kingdom and Ireland. In 1941 he chaired a board of inquiry into pay in the mining industry, prompted by a series of strikes, and at the urging of Harold Wilson the future Prime Minister, then serving as a wartime civil servant, who served as secretary to the inquiry, recommended both a pay rise and the establishment of a minimum wage for the industry. Green, who was not normally thought of as a «political» Judge, is said to have remarked cheerfully that his report was the first step towards nationalization of the coal mines. <inaudible> Jold Winds Green acquired Joldwinds, a country house in Homebury St. Mary designed by arts and crafts architect Philip Webb, but demolished it in 1930. He commissioned Oliver Hill to design a new Joldwinds in modernist style, completed in 1932. He also commissioned a house to a design by the modernist Tecton Group, which was built in the grounds of Joldwinds in 1939. Honours Military Cross in 1918 OBE in 1919 KC in 1922 Cavalier, Order of the Crown of Italy Croix de Guerre Knight Bachelor in 1935 Privy Councillor in 1935 Raised to the Peerage in 1941
Topic cases associated provincial picture houses v Winsbury Corporation 1948 1 kilobyte 223 re Smith and Fawcett 1942 CH 304 Carltona v Commissioners of Public Works 1943 2 all ER 580 equals equals notes <laughs>